need a supercharger. 2025 is. You got me with the install? Yeah, hell yeah. On camera, handshake on I camera. I got you. I got you with the install. Hey, All right. who are you? My name is Aya Onasanya. Where are you from? I am originally from South Charlotte, North Carolina. And what do you drive? I drive a 2015 Mazda 6. Why a Mazda 6? <laughs> I drove the Accord, I drove the Camry, I drove the Mazda 6. This one handled the best and it was the best price. So this is what I went with. So you didn't want to be like Roy and drive a <laughs> Honda Accord. He has the big money Accord though. He has a 2.0T. <laughs> I don't have it like that. <laughs> big worm. He got me this summer too. <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you owned your Mazda 6? I've had it a little bit over four years. Uh, I think going on four and a half years now. And what do you love the most <laughs> about your Mazda 6? I think the burgundy interior and the big brake kit for sure. Ooh. And what do you hate the most about your Mazda 6? That's a tough question because this car checks a lot of boxes. Um, if you asked me like a year ago, I would say the power, uh, but Justin Freeman, Mazda sauce tuning, we've changed that. The car's on E85 today actually, so we'll take it out later. Ooh, get to a little ride along. And if you could do it again, mm -hmm. would you choose a Mazda 6? If you could go back four and a half years and you know what you know now, would you still choose mm. your Mazda 6? I think I would actually. Uh, I originally wanted a Q50. They were a little too expensive, insurance and all of that. I'm pretty young. Um, so looking back on it, I think I made the right decision. And with all the mods I've done to it, honestly, I can't really think of a car that I could go out and buy right now that would check as many boxes as this car does. So I know you spoke about your tune, uh -huh. but what is your favorite modification? You have yet to pick one, one modification. What would be your top pick? I think my current exhaust setup, uh, I have a Res Catless header and a Magnaflow Catback exhaust. Uh, the only portion of the exhaust that's factory is the secondary cat um, and it has a good tone, zero drone, I can't complain. And it doesn't smell bad. Well, good thing you don't live in California and not have a cat. <laughs> I would be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so far we've spoken about mod so we've spoken about certain modifications. Yep. You said you got big brake kit, you said you got broken interior, you said you're tuned. Yeah. What other modifications have you done? Uh, so I guess I'm going to go from front to back. The list is pretty long. Um, I have an engine, uh, SP cold air intake. Um, I have JBR dipstick, oil cap. Uh, Blitz Japan strut bar. Uh, I have the six piston big brakes, 380 millimeter rotors, uh, work T7R wheels, 19, 9.5 plus 38. Um, I have an Alcantara steering wheel. Um, I have the shift boot as well, uh, stitched to match. Uh, burgundy interior. Um, sound system is redone. I have a 12 inch kicker L7 thin mount. Um, what else? I have the Catless header the Magnaflow exhaust, um, airlift air suspension, uh, airlift struts with 3P management. It's a rising tuning duckbill spoiler, MV tuning side skirts and MV tuning front fangs and front lip and eBay headlights. All right. And what about your roof rack? Uh, so it's the OEM roof rack from the UK. So yeah, can't get them here. And paddle shifters? I do have the paddle shifters. Um, I ended up uh, just going on eBay. I bought a GT steering wheel because all those come with the paddles. Um, bought the steering wheel for like 100 bucks. Swapped the steering wheel. Sold the old one for like 80 So $20 paddle shifters. And did you mention, did this car come with fog lights? It did not. I have iJDM toy fog lights as well with Cougar motor bulbs. Okay. And do you have floor mats? I have WeatherTex. WeatherTex, WeatherTex okay. yeah. Camber. Godspeed Camber arms, and then I have um, Camber bolts in the front. Okay. And did you mention the diffuser? MV tuning diffuser as well. You said you have a aftermarket panel system. What radio are you running? I'm running an 
Alpine ILX W650, and then I have six and a half kickers in the front door, three and a half tweeters in the dash, 6.75 inch in the rear doors, and then the kicker L7T uh, on a Rockford Fosgate RX500 X1D. I remembered one more, OEM oh. rain guards. With all these modifications, what or who was your inspiration for your vision that you went for when you started modifying your car? So I was at a car meet. This was, I want to say, late 2018, maybe 2019, early. Actually, no. This was back in 2017, I think. I might have been in high school still. Um, I saw Richard, Richard Lang. I saw his car at a car meet. I think it was... Uh, like a cars and coffee kind of event at Detail Garage in Charlotte. Um, I came home, I told my parents I need a Mazda 6. So that was the original inspiration, that's what made me check out the car to begin with when I was shopping. Um, and once I actually got the car, uh, Edwin was my inspiration. Just the black, the body kit, the rotiforms, lowered, clean and simple, that's always been kind of my style. So Edwin and Richard for sure. For Future Mazda 6 owners, current Mazda 6 owners, do you have any advice? So this was my first real build um, and I wanted to do it right. Um, my biggest advice to anyone that's building a Mazda 6 or any car in general, take your time and put high quality parts on it. Uh, I'm just a big fan of do it right the first time. Um, my car has taken four years to get to this point. Um, I see a lot of young people out there especially, they just throw the cheapest parts on there just for the sake of saying my car is modified and then they regret it, they gotta reverse everything. Um, I've been on three suspension setups and I mean that's the only thing I would say, you know, I regret I should have gotten bags the first time but they're expensive so not everyone can pull the trigger on it. Um, but I would say just take your time and high quality parts, do it right the first time, one and done. So we've been talking about the community and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but what is your least favorite outside of the group chat uh -huh. about the, the Mazda, Mazda 6 community? The Facebook group, man. I feel like I open the Facebook group every day <laughs> and I lose brain cells. <laughs> like, granted, there are lots of people out there asking valid, legitimate <laughs> questions, but Google exists, guys. I'm going to be completely honest. Like, Google, then Facebook, not Facebook, oh, I have a squiggly light on my dash. Does anyone have that issue? Like, just Google, Google. And there's Mazda 6 Club. I mean, a lot of the forums are old, but most of the things like you could wonder about is out there. Yep. All right, so on the flip side, uh -huh. what is your favorite thing about the Mazda 6 community? I wanna say among the guys and girls out there that have modified Mazda 6s, every single build i mean for how limited the parts catalog is for us i feel like every single build is pretty unique uh there's a lot of guys out there pushing the limits i mean you got noah out there with negative i mean it's over 10 for sure at this point yeah, so everyone's build is completely unique i mean we've gone to a couple shows together as well both within the state and out of the state and next next have been broken for sure because it's like People don't see modified Mazda 6s out there like that. Um, so yeah, I think my favorite part about the community is just how unique everyone's build is. Um, and just all of the individuals on that. I mean, we all went to Southern Fresh, got an Airbnb in Georgia two years ago. Everyone's cool, you know, had a good time. Do you have any words for the, for the, for the Mazda Riddicks? For the who? The Mazda Riddicks, the Riddicks. Oh. Do you, got, do you have any, any words? Because the, the Mazda Riddick, the Mazda Reddit and the Mazda 6 Reddit, they are very special people and I don't, I don't, I don't think they're on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so do you, if you don't have any words for them, that's fine, but I just wanted to you know, let you air out all your beef. I got a lot to say, but I'm going to hold back a little bit. Um, they do not like modified cars. They love yours. They like mine. They, they don't like yours. They but, hate mine. <laughs> they hate Absolutely but despise mine, but they love you. The amount of times I've gotten comments, why is your suspension broken? <laughs> and, you, and you don't know if they're serious or yeah. if, they're, if they're being satire. Yeah, little do they know. I mean, I think my car drives like a Bentley, so my suspension is not broken. I don't care what they say. So I think now it is time for...
the dropping portion. All right. And we're going to see how fast the little mouse can do. <laughs> the little mouse that could. The little mouse that could. <laughs> so what do you shift at? 6,000 6, flat. What is this? and at the low RPMs maybe yours but it could be the sound deadening messing with everything maybe it could be it's weird to drop somebody else's car <laughs> and for it to like be the, the same <laughs> but different yup and how do the have you noticed the difference in the bags because I have the V2 airlift bags like it really doesn't because I think our pressures are about the same yeah I might be
motor. I'll be, I'll be on the Facebook group. My motor blown. Another, another one bites the dust. I was going to pull. Your suspension feels a whole lot better on that dip than what mine feels. My control arms, I mean, everything's new. That exhaust sounds good. It definitely has a different tone to it. computer on the ground. <laughs> Good God. It made my heart rate go up. <laughs> yeah. You know, I really want to drive a car. I really want to drive Daniels. Oh, yeah. With the supercharger. If this is this, yeah, imagine yeah. plus... Like, I'm, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm, I'm really curious to drive... I'm a jab brake. <laughs> I have to look in my rear view mirror before I do anything like that nowadays because someone will rear end me. Oh, for sure. I'm telling you, that's one of my favorite things about this car. God. It's so unnecessary, but it's so good. <laughs> yeah, like, I, like literally, just regular driving, you don't you don't tell a difference. Like, yeah. it, it, it doesn't have unnecessary bite to it. Like, anybody could get in this car yep. and drive it, and they would have the slightest idea that it had the big old brakes that are three, what is it, six pistons? Is it six six pistons. pistons. So six pistons versus the stock. Aren't they one piston stock? They are one. Yeah. They're one because the CX-9 is a dual piston. Yeah. So dang, you got six, five more pistons. <laughs> I think I'm and gonna... like, it's like just regular driving because I totally just, I totally forgot about it. It just, it, it just yeah. when you when you come and you drive it normally, yeah. it's, it's, no, it's no big deal. But yeah. Jesus Christ, if you gotta come to a stop, you coming to a stop. Yup. Fast. I think that's one of the only other things I wanna do to this car um, in the next year or so. Just the rear big brake kit. Again, unnecessary, but just, just to make it that's make sure everything be, matches. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Both? Oh man. This car really does pull. You're good, it's a monster truck. But if you break the lip, you're buying me a oh, new Oh, trust me, that's why I air up. <laughs> that's why I say, because mine, mine scrapes, so I'm not going to take the chance with yours scrapes. Yours is all paint match. Mine is just Lowe's rattle can. But the tune feels great. The front end feels great. So would you say, after having driven this car properly, is this the ultimate daily? Yes. The only thing, like I said, this, I would love, and I wouldn't mind if this one had the supercharger on it. Really? I feel like that would be just like the, the ultimate. The icing on the cake. Yes. Yeah. The, the color of your car with the wheels, the modifications, 
I think the supercharger. <laughs> I think this one, if if any if any of the North Carolinian sixes <laughs> could do it, and then if you powder coat it, the supercharger. Body color? Either body color Oof. or red. Yeah. Or off the brake caliper. Yeah. But I think the body color. Yeah. Pop the hood be crazy. and you got the body color. And then I would do the fins like silver yeah. or the same color your wheels. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. But yes, this, yeah. Man, this thing feels. This thing feels good. All thanks to you and others. You just supercharged. 2025, just. You got me with the install? Yeah, hell yeah. On camera, handshake on I camera. I got you, I got you with the install. Hey, All we can, right. hey, throw it right in the garage. But this is IO's 2015? 2015. 2015 Mazda 6 Touring. I love it. Supercharger. <laughs> he said I love it but <laughs> supercharger I'll work on it I don't need it to <laughs> blow my shit off even, even if it's free ah if it's free I'll take it <laughs> hey Justin it if, is, you, if you hear this is, <laughs> I will do a whole a whole review on it I'll, I'll probably be whack and do an 87 tune um, I heard it makes a big difference though Ben said his 87 tune feels great so I'll be Mod 6 the world. That's why we love it. Think, build, enjoy. Peace.